Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the U.S. Fertility Network. Today's topic is diminished ovarian reserve. Ovarian reserve refers to the number of eggs that a woman has at birth. This reserve begins to decrease in puberty from about 1 to 2 million down to about 400,000 and then rapidly declines after age 40. Women have lost 90% of their eggs by the time they are 30 and only have about 3% remaining by the time that they are 40. Now, keep in mind that the, throughout life, all of the cycles entail about 400 eggs, so you don't need a 1 to 2 million. Therefore, the number one cause of diminished ovarian reserve is simply aging, with additional causes including smoking, genetic abnormalities, got, having gone through previous chemotherapy or radiation, surgical removal of all or part of an ovary, and then a lot of the times we don't know, which is called idiopathic. There are a few well-known tests involved in the workup for diminished ovarian reserve. The first and most popular is an antral, antral follicle count test. This involves counting the number of antral follicles that are visible using a transvaginal ultrasound procedure. Next is a day three FSH and E2 test. This involves measuring baseline follicle stimulating hormone and estradiol levels. When a woman gets close to menopause with a low ovarian reserve, the FSH levels go up and the estrogen levels go down. A clomiphene challenge test involves having the woman take Clomid and then assessing the FSH level. And the anti-mullerian hormone um, is used to evaluate the ovarian reserve. It, the blood levels of AMH are thought to reflect the size of the remaining egg supply. And that's a blood test. So what are the treatment options for diminished ovarian reserve? The first is called ovarian hyperstimulation. This makes use of hormonal tablets or subcutaneous injections to trigger the body to produce as many mature eggs as possible each cycle to hopefully increase the chance of conception. With pelvic ultrasounds to monitor the progression of the eggs and blood tests, your fertility doctor can know exactly when your eggs are ready to be inseminated with your partner's or donor sperm. IVF is also an excellent option. After failing ovarian hyperstimulation, this is recommended, and it may be that you try the ovarian hyperstimulation a couple times. IVF seeks to stimulate multiple eggs per cycle, hopefully improving the chance of finding a good egg. Now, if traditional IVF is not working, then you can try egg donation with IVF. So this treatment uses another couple's unwanted frozen embryos to help the patient become pregnant. So embryo donors are typically patients that have already gone through an IVF process that have conceived and have excess frozen embryos after their family is complete, okay? So this can be very beneficial and avoid the whole uh, process of trying to use the woman's um, own eggs. The U.S. Fertility Network offers top fertility centers nationwide, all of which are members of the American Society of Reproductive Medicine and offer a 15% discount on treatment when patients go through the network. Visit us at usfertilitynetwork.com and then call us at 877-977-2959. Your little miracle starts here.